The makeup and beauty industry globally is becoming even more competitive. But one homegrown company in Singapore, Cosmoprof, has certainly made its mark and shows that it can stand on its own against international players. Although the company has faced several setbacks, it says that the lessons learned have only made the firm stronger. I spoke with the founder and CEO of Cosmoprof, Peter Sung, who removed the mask of makeup to bear insights into his company and his life. Countries like Japan, Korea and France are renowned for their international brands of makeup. To compete with such players, especially in the mid-80s, was no easy feat. But that did not deter 66-year-old Peter, who found a niche in teaching and providing stage makeup instead. Every year, Cosmoprof trains about 600 students to become makeup artists. And within three years, it hopes to train 1,000 students annually. Its students have utilized their skills for large-scale events like the National Day Parade. For the last 20 years, Cosmoprof has been behind the makeup for all the parade performers. Most of the national projects, National Day Project, National Day, Chingay, Youth Olympics, we have done them all providing makeup for the masses. Uh, our sponsorship for National Day Parade, uh, for the National Day events, cross half a million dollars each year. We've been doing this for the last uh, 12, 13 years. And along that process, we gain acceptance by both, by establishing a link that our young people in Singapore are now playing an active role of a national event. So would you say there's no longer a business incentive now? It's more of trying to drive a social cause. Many people ask me how old I am. I, I say I'm two years young because I have gone through a cycle in life. I was diagnosed to be having stage four lung cancer, supposed to have gone home uh, some one and a half years ago. Uh, but then I am still here and uh, I have received blessings and I now see it is my calling to share the blessings we have received to share others and impacting lives along the way. Now, how gratifying can this be? There's no other I would prefer that I like better to do than to uh, receive and, re and bless the others upon what I have received. But is making money for the business still as important for you? Making money for the business, I am not shying away from that. It is an essential part. Without the money, without wielding some financial means to achieve my end, my goal. Now that is important because from there we are able then to expand ourselves in reaching out to more, providing more scholarships, to, to some des more deserving people, and uh, the approach will be very much different. Tell us, over the years, where have you gone to in terms of regional countries, and how do you intend to further expand that footprint? We were victims of our own success. Uh, we were venturing in, we were very much sought off before. So we were in Japan, we were in uh, Asia, in we were in Korea, we were in uh, Malaysia, Thailand, and in Thailand alone, ranging from uh, uh, what we call Bangkok to uh, Hua Hin, down to Chiang Mai, down to uh, Phuket. But uh, when it came full circle, and with the economic crunch, and with the shortage of manpower, because a lot of different factors, uh, we had no choice but to downsize, and coupled with some natural disasters. During the height of our expansion, we had 21 branches all over Southeast Asia. Uh, today, we are just keeping uh, four in Singapore and three in the region. And Cosmoprof's branching out with plans to sell its own makeup at retail malls within two years. It may also work with partners to bring its makeup training programs to countries like India and Vietnam. Where does Cosmoprof stand when it comes to a competition with international players? And do you think that Singapore and Cosmoprof is really up to mark? In the past, when my mother wants to learn makeup, they will think of going to Hong Kong. 
Now many Hong Kong people come here, Japanese come here. We even have from as far as uh, from Russia and uh, from Australia. In fact, uh, we have from Australia flying in, in to join our short courses as well. So that is a transformation for us. That is rec being recognized as being equal to the skills of training from Europe or the States. Final question, Peter, is since the formation of Cosmoprof, you've seen many ups and downs from a number of financial crises to closures of certain spa outlets by Cosmoprof and also, personally for you, a diagnosis of a lung cancer. What is next for Peter Sung? Every year since seven years ago, come October, I will be faced with some health hazard. Starting from seven years ago, I had spinal surgery. After that, I had dengue. After that, I have heart uh, blockages. And then I have uh, cancer. So every year I have something major. So come October, something else is waiting for me. But I'm taking everything as an experience in life. Don't scratch me out yet. Count me in. And we've come to the end of our program for this week. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, do write us at channelnewsasia.com slash moneymind or look us up on Facebook. I'll see you next week.